Today we're going to build a talk show set in my garage. Now make sure that you stay tuned to the very end because uh, I'm going to have some tips on how you can make your own YouTube studio very simply. Please welcome Brian Kelsey. This is part two of building a YouTube or television late night TV talk show set in your basement or your garage or your bedroom or wherever. Mine is in my garage and on the previous episode right here, I built the desk. Now we can focus our attention on the backdrop, the background, which can get pretty complicated. You can see that I have already started by, hold on. You can see that I've started by uh, the, the, the main backdrop already done and up here. All I did was I bought a picture, uh, New York City skyline, had it made into a mural, and then I mounted it on a piece of um, half inch plywood. So the key, the key to uh, a, a really nice looking studio is, a, a bu well there are a bunch of things, but one of the main things is to have a good distance between yourself and the, the back wall or the backdrop or whatever because you do not want something like like this that's ridiculous it looks like you're in a, a, a you're being held hostage this sort of thing you need distance now I have a lot of area to cover all around here now my field of view really is going to be from here over to you know like here I have to figure out which lens is going to work and everything like that. Um, but I think I'm going to kind of cover the whole thing in uh, wood, much like I made the desk out of. Make a shelf there, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the sides there, but you won't see the ceiling. When the final shot happens, you'll only see like something like that or whatever. This is a wide lens. So let's get started. The first thing I think I'm going to do is build a shelf right along the back there. So I'm using the same wood and stain as I did on the desk and then of course just nailed it into place. So now for these wings, kind of the outside here, I think I'm going to use like vertical pieces of, of pine and stain them with the same stain as the desk and put them on like a black background. And this is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. I need to tweak the lighting. There's a lot of stuff that needs to, to happen, but let's talk about the lighting because that is, you don't have to do this whole ridiculous kind of setup that I'm doing. If you're doing a basic setup in your living room or your bedroom or wherever, all you need is one key light, a diffused, hold on. Just need this. This is what I use forever. And this costs about $50 maybe, it's a basic, daylight balanced um, light and it's diffused. And so I put it right here, gave me a nice even light. Basically something like this is all you need. Also don't rely on uh, natural light. The light's gonna change and you're gonna edit this together and there's gonna be light and it's gonna be, and also you can't film obviously uh, at nighttime because you don't really have any light. You want a constant light source that's not gonna waver. Now for this setup, because I'm sort of trying to emulate television a little bit in TV and this sort of setup, it's really all about a nice even light all throughout because you're gonna have guests and everybody needs to be well lit. And here, um, what I did was instead of having my one sort of key light, I have these two lights up top here and they're diffused with some diffuse paper just to give a nice soft light and you could be done there but of course no I went one step further and that is to put a sort of a hair light or a rim light around you the point is to give you sort of a, 
uh, something on your shoulders just to separate you from the background. Now, you could stop there, but no. Again, in television, uh, a lot of times there is up lighting just to sort of fill out your, your face. And so I have another light down here. And that, again, was is with some diffuse paper. And, and in fact, actually, it's, it's kind of hot here. I, gotta, I have to adjust that. Finally, the background. So the big thing, and I mentioned this before, is, is separating yourself from the background. And that is entirely true as well for lighting. So what you want to do is light, ha, kind of have two zones, right? You're going to light uh, the interviewer and the guest. This is one, one lighting setup. And then the background. So what I tried to do is you can see up here above the lights, there is a flag and that is to help with any spill from my kind of key lights up here into the background. I don't want these lights to affect the background. So this is kind of acting as a little bit of a barrier to help separate for the background. You can see I've got an LED under here. Those are great. Any home YouTube studio, it's like 20 bucks. You can change the colors or whatever. It's great to have in the background and kind of off out of focus. So let's talk about sound. If your sound is bad, then the entire video is bad. Like it, it, you could have a great looking set, great looking shots, but if you have terrible audio, then the whole video is just is terrible. You have to make sure you have good audio. So a couple things to think about in your area, you don't want to have a lot of echo. So if you're in a room with tile or hardwood floors, or in my case, I've got concrete down here, put down a carpet, buy a cheap, inexpensive um, carpet. This carpet was from um, Home Depot for $55. And it's like an eight by 12 carpet, just to help with the sound. And what you can't see out of frame here is I've got sound blankets on the walls here to help with any sort of reflection. So just think about, you know, how your sound is going to be in the area that you're going to make your studio in. Now, I think all that's left is uh, getting guests in this great lawn chair here. And uh, that's for next time. And until then, thanks for watching. This has been a Brian Kelsey movie. <laughs>